Hello there and welcome to my turtle terrapin setup. This is my tank. It is a four foot long by two and a half two foot to two and a half foot tall and about one foot wide. I have two yellow bellied slider turtles. That is the one there, Michelangelo. There is my second one, which is Donna. And basically, this is my turtle setup. I have, I've got soil in the bottom of the aquarium, right with the stones on top to keep, make sure the soil does not get disturbed. I have a live plant that is planted straight through the gravel and into the soil to feed it its nutrition. I have a box, that are, a six and a half litre box that I have filled up with sand. Give me a minute. Yep, filled it up with sand. Got a couple of artificial plants in here, like there, there and there. I put some stones in here to make it more homey for the turtles. They, they love going on there and basking on there. I have the standard basking rock that you can get when the first one you get when you buy turtles. I have a rock that's leading from the bridge. Like, as you can see, it goes up and then it's acts as a ramp to, for the turtles to get into the basking area I have then also got a bunch of fish which my turtles tend to try to chase and eat I have, underneath there I don't know if you can see him but I have a pleco under there underneath the bridge he loves being under there, he doesn't move for days I also We've made, done this rock formation here. This rock formation, I originally made it to make it be a second basking area with a kind of a water feature. As you can tell, the pump, the top of the pump is there and it's hiding. I wanted it to make it like a waterfall foot water feature, but I couldn't do that, so I've made it as best as I can and the turtles actually do go on there quite often I mean, like back, they tend to bask on there and yes it's really good my turtles are about three three and a half inches long shell length that is about three and a half in inches in shell length which is good they won't be breeding until they're a fair bit bigger though I have got one female turtle, which is Donna. That is my female turtle. And then my male turtle, which is Mike Michelangelo, just down there. The way to tell if it's a male or a female turtle is by looking at that tail. As you can see, her tail is quite long and thin. Quite literally long and thin. And if you give me a minute, I will try and get my male turtle. Come here, dude. I now have my male turtle. If you look at his tail, it's quite short and thick. His tail is quite short and thick. That's how you tell a male between a female. Also, uh, the claws on a male, a smaller than a female, put him back in the water, a smaller than a female, come here Donna, we we'll grab you, where if you look at my female, the claws are quite long, uh, but it's that tail, that tail is the main thing to be able to tell whether you've got a male or a female turtle. To be honest, I introduce this Repticalcium. I add it to their turtle terrapin food that I give them. 
just sprinkle it in there and shake the tub with it all in and then I tend to feed the turtles when it's already mixed that this calcium actually helps with shell growth and shell growth so they they can yeah they can grow a lot easier with the shell the shells grow a lot easier and they tend to get stronger the shell does use it by using that God, give me a minute I need to put back I need to put my basking rock back there we go I tend to use these pieces of wood for the for the basking rock to stay afloat because my turtles are getting fat and when they go onto my basking rock it sinks a bit <laughs> so my turtles are getting fat which means for me I need to get a bigger basking rock for them mostly oh and also with my rock setup that I made for the turtles also with the rock setup that I made from the turtles it acts as an amazing hiding spot for these fish the fish will swim down they'll come down here and you know, behind the rocks and where the turtles can't where the turtles can't get them and they'll swim around and they, they go all in and out of the rocks using the rocks as a cave system and it, it's good protection from the turtles as you can see some see some of the fish have just gone down there and yes so that is my turtle terrapin setup thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed